that was watching Jacques Cousteau's programs on the marine environment. So I kept watching and said, so when I go to school, I want to I wanna work with water and fish. And here I am <laughs> doing it. We've been looking at different fish species. One of the questions that arose from a collaboration uh, with the University at Buffalo and Buffalo State was um, how are the pharmaceuticals that enter the river affecting the fish? And uh, what we found is that the one that really was uh, most prevalent was antidepressants. And the organ where those antidepressants were accumulating at the highest rate was the brain of fish. The result is that a lot of pharmaceuticals that have not been digested by a human, that they are whole and active, are also going into the sewer system and they can't, they don't have the capacity right now to, to remove it. When wastewater treatment plants uh, receive the sewage, um, they do a series of uh, processes to remove the solids, uh, to flocculate um, bacteria and things like that. And in the last stage, they chlorinate the water to disinfect it. However, none of those processes take care of pharmaceuticals and personal care products. Any, any uh, pharmaceutical uh, or deodorant or anything, people are using hair dyes, all that is not really removed. So all that enters the aquatic system and the aquatic organisms receive not only one or two things that people may be using, but a cocktail of all of them and all of them every day, every hour. So it's, it's a complete mixture of all these molecules that are active and they affect the fish the same as they affect us. This is the, the fish lab where we do um, experiments uh, either with small fish populations or with larger fish. Other organisms in the environment that are exposed to it, uh, they, will, they may behave in ways that are not natural, like uh, exposing themselves to predators. They seem to be more vulnerable to parasites and bacterial infections, so they actually depress their immunity. So changes in the fish community will affect all the ecosystem, their food, their predators, um, the humans that eat those fish, um, and so on and so forth. So, so once you take an integral part of the ecosystem and change it, like fish behavior, for example, everything around them is gonna change as well. This planet uh, is limited, unfortunately, um, and we don't know another one we can go to when this one is too foul to stay. So the only thing we can do is actually clean up our act and recover what we have lost. Um, not that long ago, this, this continent was a wilderness and you can see how developed it is. And now the, the pollution is getting everywhere. Um, you find like 200 different toxic chemicals in, in um, in the placenta of newborn babies in the US, 200 that they've taken from their moms. So, so it doesn't take very long when we start seeing disease patterns in the population, um, things like obesity, cancers, heart attacks, dementia, and it's all linked to the environment one way or another, either because we consume pharmaceuticals that enter the environment or because our foods are polluted with toxic chemicals everything revolves around the environment so you need to have a clean environment so we can always go back to that right